So today is the first day that my bees have uh, been foraging on anything in about three weeks. Uh, we've had rain, drizzle, and fog for the past three weeks, and it's just been trash. So the bees got out today. Oh, this bee looked like it got stuck in the flower. Let's see. Can you go, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, so they've been stuck in their hives for at least for the past three weeks. It's been complete garbage in terms of weather. Uh, these crocuses came out. I've got them all over my front yard. Uh, they came out th about a month ago. I thought, all right, great. The bees are going to get a little, little something, a little bit of a, ne little bit of pollen, maybe a bit of nectar, but mostly pollen from this stuff, I think. And then the weather just shut down, and and the, and most of the, the flowers looked like they were going to die. But a little bit of sun, and everything comes back to life. So here we go. Um, and it's actually warm. Uh, I don't know how long this weather's going to last, so I got to make the most of it. This is what beekeeping, especially in places like Newfoundland, is like. You don't necessarily have to work your tail to the bone every day, but when the opportunity arises, you gotta, you got to grab it and you got to move. You can't just say, okay, I'm going to get around to it later. Later might not happen. You might not have the weather. Just circumstances may not work out the way you think or would hope. Oh, look at this. What a nice looking flower. A bunch of bees on it. And the bees are, uh, so they, yeah, they've been inside their hive for the past three weeks. So they got out for some cleansing flights, big time, stinking up the place. And now they're, they're out here. But they're really curious. They're definitely, um, someone was telling me today how the bees are, the, these are young bees that have never been outside the hive. They've never seen the world. <laughs> they've never seen humans, nothing. So, they're, they're just following their instincts to forage, but they're also curious, and you'll see them land on you and just sort of check you out. And uh, it's cool. It's fun. According to this thermometer, I think it's warmer than it really is. Or it's, it's not as warm as it says. It says this is, what, about, I don't know, 14 degrees, 13 degrees Celsius, which is about, four, was it, 55 degrees Fahrenheit? I don't think that's accurate. I mean, that's in the shade, and it, I, I feel a bit of a chill in the air, but I also live close to the ocean, so that's always here. In any case, my plan is to uh, do full hive inspections, or do whatever I can today, because again, I don't know if the weather is gonna cooperate going into the future, and I'm also gonna be gone for a week, starting, uh, I think, uh, well, sometime in mid-May. So I gotta do it while I can, instead of saving it for later. And uh, what we have here is a smoker, something to light it with, some uh, bottles for misting the bees. I'm going to use the mist instead of the smoker, but if I need the smoker, I'll take the smoker out. I've got some crystallized honey that I'm going to probably put on top of the hive. Um, I've got some pollen patties, but uh, they might not eat it now that natural pollen is available. But again, there's not a lot of natural pollen available, and it's very likely the weather will turn to garbage, and they're going to need something like this to help uh, make some royal jelly to make baby bees. So I'm going to give them some of that. I thought I had some fondant too, but I don't, don't have any and I don't know where it, well, if I do, I don't know where it is. Uh, but I think they're going to be okay. And that's it. I've got two hives over there on the side of my house. Um, that I'm just going to record my inspections with, but I'm not going to talk through it like this because, um, uh, I've got some neighbors who just recently built a house about 10 feet from my house and they're very close to where I keep my bees and it's funny to talk to myself and talk to the camera when other people are around so I don't do it when they're around. So I'll just be doing it quietly over there but uh, to begin with I'm going to I'm going to inspect this hive. Uh, it's an experimental hive that I'm not posting anything about for a while. It's a four medium hive with a uh, screen bottom board that's been open all winter and no top entrance and uh, nothing else. And I'm curious to see how the bees are doing. Um, at the very least I want to, I would like to knock these hives down, all of my hives down to a smaller size so that the bees are 
confined to a smaller space and they, they tend to build up quicker in the spring or the summer, whatever you want to call it here in Newfoundland, uh, when they're in a confined space. So I do that now instead of reversing my highs, which is, I used to do that to help uh, reduce the chances of swarming, but I just found that when you reduce um, the hives instead of reversing it, it it's, the effect is even better. So that's it. So I'm going to check out this hive, and then I'm going to check out the other two, and then I'm going to, if I have time, go to the magic forest and check out those hives too. And uh, maybe this day will produce a lot of... Uh, fun videos to watch later on. So two squirrels just jumped up, went over the roof here, and now they're making a racket. Squirrels do okay around here. And the birds are singing. Good day to be outdoors. If you don't get pooped on by a bee. So far they're looking okay. Hey, it's making a little rainbow. So I'm getting rid of this, this pollen patty. It's a homemade pollen patty that I probably, oh no, yeah. And it's dried up. It's all crusty now. So I'm not eating that. I think I'm going to get my jacket now that I'm We'll see. If I get stung, I'm going to change my mind about this. Damn it, I hate it when it's This is why you smoke is better than... Smoke is better than the, the water. Because at least with the smoke, you can... The, you can kill back... You can kill the alarm pheromones. So there's the queen. Right there with a the yellow dot on her. And there's the tiniest fraction of of cat brood but no fresh brood so she is not laying at all um, but I'm not gonna give up on her just yet I was wondering like why are these bees so calm if they don't have a queen because there's no sign of the queen or brood or anything and she's not moving around too fast now it's possible that she's just one of these queens that she needs natural pollen before she kicks you know she kicks in the high gear but right now there's nothing in this hive so either she's sort of you know let me just look at her She might be a little cold right now because I got the frames open. But she doesn't look like I, she's not a super elongated, like a queen who's been laying well would look. So she might be just maybe not, she, maybe she just hasn't started laying yet. She hasn't gotten into her groove, or maybe she's lame, or whatever.